Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at episode 3 of Albion Online PvP 2v2 Hellgates. Uh, we got the Great Curse staff again with the Druidic staff builds, and we're going to go over both builds real quick before we get started on some of the highlights, and we commentate over a few of them. Uh, so we got the Experts Great Curse staff uh, 5.1 on the Great Curse staff build, and we're going to be going Vile Curse to get those stacks uh, automatically, uh, the click and instead of the skill shot just to automatically get those hits um then we're going to also go the garage which ba gives you a basically a, uh, a lot more damage over time as well with the vile curse and the grudge uh, we're going to go the area of decay obviously as it is the only uh you know ability we can really go here um and it's very strong uh and then we're going to be going furious uh furious or bane can both work i like to go furious Get that extra damage on the skills when you get five activated pretty strong um and then you'll see i have mage cow mage cow i will be going poison on the head and i will be going uh aggression for the, the extra damage and heal power uh, i'll be going purging shield and damage slash heal power on the mage robe and then we have the guardian boots and i will be going giant and toughness um, and that'll complete my build as you can see this is my build with the beef stew and the major poison pots And I'll go like a tier 4 uh, cape or you can go a martlock cape if you'd like to go a little bit more expensive uh, If we had more failures as a team of two I would try that out But really we haven't lost with this build too often uh, when it's me and him so His build as a healer a nature healer or druidic healer I guess We have the expert druidic staff which uh, he runs uh, rejuvenation and he runs protection of nature and then obviously the spiritual seed and the adrenaline driven charity and that is mist caller uh, he runs a 5.1 mist caller very strong uh, adepts fiend robe 4.2 and he runs the fear aura which is very very important fear aura might be one of the most important abilities out of this whole build uh, it's how you win fights and then you have the aggression the increases damage and heal power by 8% very strong as well um, and then we'll have the Adepts Mercenary Hood, which gives you a cleanse that can actually cleanse all allies in close proximity, which is huge for cleansing me and him uh, if he uses it correctly. Very good skill, uh, very important hood. Uh, you can go a couple others as well, but we like to stick with the Mercenary Hood. Um, then we have Balanced Mind, increases your damage and heal power by 1.5%, and incoming damage is reduced by 90.99%. Uh, and then he also goes Guardian Boots for the Giant, very strong, the Giant and the Toughness. So that is his build, and he also has the Lamhurst Cape, uh, which activates, you know, uh, when he's below energy 40% and restores 8% energy per 10 seconds. This is basically so if um, if he gets a big drop or anything, he can actually run around and survive in the dungeon by himself. If we get a big drop and we have an unfortunate encounter or something of that nature, uh, usually it doesn't actually come in handy, but. We do have it there in case, and he is running a resist pot, and I am running a poison pot, uh, just the highest you can go. Uh, 8.1 and 7.1, you can go those as well, not a big difference, but you can upgrade if you'd like. He goes a pork omelet for the cooldown reductions and casting times, and I go the beast stew for the actual combat damage. Um, and this is basically our builds for this, uh, for this montage of clips, so if you guys want to try to replicate something like it uh take a look and obviously you're going to be overcharging with the siphoned energy i didn't want to forget that some of you guys are new and don't understand how overcharging works basically overcharging works to where every time you use an overcharge these four items the main four items have a chance of destroying um when the overcharge is up in 30 minutes so after 30 minutes they are basically buffed by i think it's like 200 item power or something it's basically a very strong buff to all of the items uh, on you. However, they have a chance after 30 minutes to break. I believe it's a 15% chance after 30 minutes to break, and that can cost you a good amount of silver. So make sure you're using your time wisely, and most of the time, you'll definitely make profit doing Hellgates as long as you're winning. So thanks, guys, for tuning in today, and I hope you guys like the next little bit of clips as I commentate over them a little bit for you guys. All right, guys, our first clip of the day, we have Antonio coming at us. Uh, he's going after the healer, Alf, and we're not going to be having a much of a problem here as Alf just splits them perfectly with the fear. We're going to have a lot of damage down on him, and we're going to be probably good here as I did leave 
uh, the channel on the E a little bit too long there. We're going to have him uh, right where we want him here. And he's, he is a goner. Um, now we're going to speed it up, make sure we get this last kill for you real quick. And I am running a different kind of uh, ability on that first clip. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed it. I did have a heal instead of the D uh, that I have now. The ability was not with the Mage Cal. I did switch to the Mage Cal, um, and I just love it so much more. Um, as I got a little bit in trouble here, not a big problem, though, as Alf curses it away with his ability on his Fiend Robe. And we kind of just kite this guy right on back. Uh, make sure you kind of walk and shoot, walk and shoot, so you can stick with him as he doesn't really have a chance to run away. Uh, a lot of you guys might stand still when you attack, and I do it all the time when I get lazy and just know we have the win. So you might see that occasionally, and it kind of can mess with me. So this guy throws an early poison, by the way. You guys do not want to throw an early poison. I don't know why people do that. Unless you have two poisons, you should never throw an early poison. Uh, but you probably shouldn't be running two poisons in the first place. So we have a lot of damage going out here. Alf uh, is kind of just healing me up. It's a very easy fight. Uh, plus 50k fame, though. Not a big deal. And we get jumped on here by Yummy. Uh, I instantly start focusing the other DPS, the crossbow DPS. And Alf fears the other guy completely out of the play. We get a lot of free damage on this uh, crossbow DPS over here, bullcaster DPS. And he goes down. Um, and just a few seconds later, we will end up killing this guy, obviously, as it is a 2v1. Uh, he is struggling to get any damage down in a 1v2 uh, with the Druidic Healer. It's just so overpowered in Hellgates. As he had 170k fame on him, uh, we are getting a lot of good fame in Hellgates. Uh, a lot of great loot. Our average loot is probably consists of anywhere between 600 to 1 mil. Uh, 600k to 1 mil. As the Black Hands guy is focusing Alf, uh, Black Hands is very strong in this. We have lost to a Black Hands, I think, once before. Uh, it has potential. Uh, this guy didn't use it correctly, I guess. Uh, their build wasn't too great. They played it a little poorly. Um, and we're just going to get this free kill as I kind of kite back with him. Um, this guy is lasting a little bit here as he runs back and forth. And this is the one thing you'll get, obviously, if you're running against the healers, they will run away um, occasionally, and you'll have to just kind of kite with them and eventually get that kill. Um, there's really no purpose in them doing it against uh, the <laughs> Russian suck. I'll flame in them a little bit for the 112k fame we get there. Um, looks like we're going to go up against a double DPS here. We're going to start on the swords. Uh, I think we end on the swords, but we'll take a look here. As Alf gets a good fear, pushes the swords to me. The guy I was focusing, he pushed right at me. As he pushed the other guy away, you could tell. Um, he did get a little low as he backs up there, and he's going to be fine. Uh, 49k fam, another good kill. Um, we're going to be walking with this guy. And you got to remember, the giant does give me um, move speed as well, so if they do start running away, I use my giant to catch up to them a little bit. It looks like we have a guy running, looks like kind of an axe uh, and a healer. And I right hear I'm kind of just standing still. I'm not really uh, moving much, and it's just because I don't feel threatened yet. Um, and I, I have this this thing where I get a little lazy when um, when it looks like it's going to go too easy or too well, and then this ends up happening. So right here we're on a little retreat. Have to kite a little bit. Alf gets me good some good heals, um, and we're gonna probably gonna wait for a fear to get this kill um, anywhere. So we're just gonna be kind of kiting for a while, seeing what kind of damage we can put down. As you can see, it's actually a pretty close fight. They have a decent chance against us here. As they played it pretty well, but then they get this fear. Uh, I get a lot of free damage off on Roduck or Koduck. And I am actually really low on mana. And when you get me low on mana, it actually doesn't destroy my damage because my poison on my Mage Cow, my D, is actually takes no mana. And my Q takes very little mana. So I can still throw down a lot of damage over time. As we finally kill Koduck after a good amount of time, and here we are with another, it looks like double damage build. Uh, we got the black hands and some kind of double mace sort of deal, double swords. We're going to throw, yeah, great fear here. I mean, he splits them up perfectly. Gives us a lot of da time to just get rid of all that damage they could have done. Uh, this guy heals everything back up pretty much. Uh, but we are able to burst him pretty quickly as Alpha is getting bursted a little bit as well. But he goes giant and heals up. That's why giant is so important. You're you're able to run faster than them you get a ton of health and you're able to heal as a healer i mean it's just really really strong 
Alf just pushes this guy away with the fear. Uh, this guy has nowhere to go. There's minions on both sides of us. That's why I actually don't clear minions anymore um, until the end after we kill them because there's really no point as we are able to just push them into minions and sometimes that'll get the kill for us if they start trying to run away as we are usually not on the fleeing end. So right here we got the double. Uh, no, we don't have a double damage actually. We have a guy running, looks like bull casters. Um, and I'm just kind of going all out on this guy. He's getting absolutely melted. I don't know if that guy's running a heal or not, but it was very, very bad healing job by him. Uh, we got Kadesh. I think we just played this guy, actually. I don't know if this was Kadesh or not that we just played uh, earlier in this Taj. Uh, but we are on Elatian and Kadesh. As they get a good split, one is getting hit by uh, mobs a little bit. And I'm kind of struggling right here as I should have went big already, but I'm a little late on the going big. I go big about half health, which isn't bad. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, and we end up killing him. Um, a great play by Alf to split him up like usual and just keep me healthy as I was taking a lot of damage there. Uh, this guy is going to end up running through mobs like I just said, how the mobs, how they work for us. Um, when That's why we don't clear them. Um, but obviously, he's going to be able to outheal it as he's running the Druidic Staff. And the Druidic Staff is very, very strong. So right here, he's trying to maybe try to see if he can 1v1 me as my uh, healer's in the middle clear in the chest just to save some time. And obviously, he is not going to be able to 1v1 me. Um, so now we're at another, looks like another fight with a, what is this guy running? He looks like he's running Bolt Caster. No, he's running a crossbow, it looks like. We got a crossbow healer, and this is a pretty strong build if they're able to uh, complete it and he misses a skill shot there which takes out some of his damage I'm getting a lot of damage down right now on this guy as the healers trying to heal him as much as he can he puts down a trap very obvious not to get hit by that Alpha is healing as much as he possibly can and this is where we're in a dangerous spot Alpha is completely out of the play for a little bit and they start focusing me that's why I go giant and it just negates a lot of that damage that would have happened to me um, and we're getting a lot of damage on that crossbow right now so we did end up getting the kill, and these guys uh, were worth a lot of fame as they were. Um, they did run back-to-back -back sessions. So now we're obviously on a fight outside the Hellgate. I mess up here, and Alf gets dismounted, and I'm actually not able to fight as this is a soft zone. So you have to be in the zone originally to attack the people that were in the zone originally. So I can't actually help help Alf here. If you guys didn't understand this mechanic, you actually I actually can't help Alf until he gets back into the zone so that they come back into the zone um, so I can damage them. So basically, Alf is bringing them back into the zone, kind of baiting them a little bit here. This is going to be a long, long fight, so there's going to be a lot to talk about. We're going to be bringing them back into the zone. Alf's just healing all of this out of here. So I'm trying to jump in on this first guy that comes in, and we're getting a lot of damage down, uh, slowly, slowly taking him out. And they actually get a stun, keep him damaged pretty good. Um, right here, Alf does get a good fear. He doesn't get a good split, but he does get them pushed away, which is what he needed at that point in time. Right there, we have a lot of damage, and I make a, a very bad mistake of auto-attacking Samurai instead of just finishing Gorduck. I was actually able to get a Q or an auto into Gorduck there, and we would have had the kill. Instead, I don't do it, so now we are going to have a long, drawn-out fight, and we're going to be running out of the soft zone to see what is going on out here. Um, they are healing up a little bit, so it is kind of a reset here as Samurai is getting a lot of good heals out. I mean, they're basically full health, and we're actually down to fight again. So right here, I need to use my Purge. I use my Purge, get a good Purge, uh, and Fear, that Fear is perfect by Alf, and this gives us a free freaking kill on Gorduck. Amazing he uh, Fear by him, and we do end up getting the kill, and we end up killing Samurai as well later on. So that is all we're going to have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. That is the Great Curse plus Druidic Staff build. And I hope you guys liked today's video with the builds and everything. Hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned.